Good afternoon everyone and we're going to do my gorgeous little Emily today but before we do I've got a few vintage parcels to show you um because I've got a, a few more on order so if it cut the video time down a little bit I'll show you these and I'll show you the other ones when they come this came through the post today um get my list out not for anybody's interested how much I pay because they're off vintage so you probably won't get them again. Needs pressing this. But it was new with tags. I don't know where it's from. Better cotton dock dot org. One month. So I thought that would do nice for me, new baby. Oh, it does need pressing, doesn't it? I'm going to wait and press them all at once when, when I've done. That one was five, let's tick it off. I take them off when they've come. Five pound 83, that one. So I've got that one, needs hanging up. A little anger on it. I've got it. She's getting a right little wardrobe. Come on, anger. Doesn't want to go in. Oh, sorted out extra. Can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Right, and then these I've picked up. You know when I said she had three parcels to pick up? Well, these are what I picked up. Right, got them all out at bag. That's just an empty bag, I think. Put that bag in that bag. Save all these, I don't know why. When I send happy mail off and stuff. Right, these little pair of socks. Have you seen price on them? Where are you? As if you pay £22 for a pair of socks. I mean, they're lovely. They're nice. They take the normal socks and they've got this same um, row of light lace going round the bottom and um, little flowers in. And every other flower's got a pearl. And then at the top there, around the cuff, it's got a... Um, can't think what you call that. It's edged in satin, but I can't think what you call the middle. And then that's got a little rose with a pearl in. As if you'd pay £22 for a pair of socks. So anyway, I got them. I got this. This is new with tags. This is Little Chick, I think. My Little Chick. So I thought that was pretty for summer. Um. I don't know, would you class that as embroidery on glare? Anyway, it's lemon. It's got a Peter Pan collar with um, embroidered white flowers on. It's got a little flutter by sleeve. And that needs cutting off. It's got two white satin bars. Everything needs pressing. They put them in the smallest bags that they can find. I don't know why. So Because they're, they're only paying the same price for postage. Probably classed as a small letter. So anyway, it's uh, got two satin bows, three poppers between the legs, three buttons down the back, and it comes with a little matching lemonade headband. I thought that would that would be nice for summer. I'm going to have a bit of ironing for do. I think I've crossed that off. Yeah, that was seven pounds ninety eight. And then these, oh, I love these. I've had my eye on these in boots for ages and never got round to getting them. I love them because they've got little mice on. There's a little onesie there. Is it cream or is it pearl? And is it peach um, cream? I think it's a very pale pink. It's got little mice on. You see the little mice? I don't know what you're seeing. And it's got embroidery on a uh, little frill over the long sleeves up to one month. Um, pale pink round between the legs and two poppers. And then the matching one at the back. Now that's definitely pink with little pink flowers on. A da slightly darker pink than the onesie. And it's got green leaves and that's got the embroidery on um sleeves. Um, frill on the sleeves and then these are the pants that go with it 
There's these pink ones with little mice, mice's face and 3D ears on the legs. And then these ones go with the, well, you can mix and match really. If you think that's going to be too much, you could still put it, put them with that one, couldn't you? And then put that one with the mice with that one. So it's still got the pink flowers. So you can mess about and play with them. So there, I tried to knock her down. She wanted um, £10 for the two, for the set. And I tried to knock her down to seven. And she come back to me, she said, no, I'm sorry, I can't. She had I paid £32 for them. But there's no prices on them. But I love these from um, Mother Kerr with the little mice on. I've ordered um, a sleeper as well with a mouse on and um, a little dress as well that come yeah with a mouse on you know um the same brand from boots right little girl you have your little jemima it's not jemima is it it's who is it what's his sister's names flopsy mopsy and cottontail so it's one of them one of his sisters so that's me all for today and i've still got Quite a few things for come. And there's only one boy's outfit on there. Aren't the rest of girlies? Little girlies. Right, let's take you out of this. Shad this on since last Thursday. I've not been coming on every day, have I? Still feeling ropey. Ropey, ropey, ropey. I have to go for my um, hearing aid department tomorrow. And it's good job because my left earring aid, which is my worst ear, is packed in this morning. Because when you turn them on, they usually play music. I don't know if I'm shouting or not because I can't hear proper. Um, plays music. But now it's just buzzing. So it's broke. So it's a good job I'm going tomorrow. Because that's the earring aid that I need, really. That's my bad ear. Full full uh, list this week. Um, earring tomorrow. That's Tuesday. Hmm. I don't think I've got anything Wednesday. Thursday, it's me, uh, then doctors. And then Friday, uh, Bella Ascot Groomers. And Paul says he's going out Friday afternoon, so I might... I mean, we usually take her together because she doesn't like it. She starts shaking as soon as you go out corner. You know, when you've parked your car and you go around the corner, she knows straight away where she's going and she starts shaking and I get all choked up, you know, because she's upset like. So anyway, for this little girl, I'm going to put this on her. This is a vintage purchase. This is mayoral. But it's not been worn yet. This one wasn't new, I don't think, because there's no tags on it. Let's just tuck it off the anger. Show you. It's uh, velour. That needs pressing. Oh, excuse me. It's uh, grey velour with a little uh, puffy sleeve. I like how they put these little pleats in. The details on the oral. That's what you pay for, really. It's got a white Peter Pan collar. And it's got what big white polka dots on, and it's got a white goss grain bow there, and then a little grey velvet bow on top. Just cut them straggly bits off. Yeah, it was washing all Sunday. That was just today, wasn't it? Then I fell asleep on the sofa. Paul went working up caravan. With the John, the John's uh, lights isn't working, and it's this car, this car, this dress has got all little teddy bears round the bottom. They're only delicate. I don't know if you can make them out or not. Can you see the teddies round the bottom? All different ones. There's one. Uh, the start here. That one's got a headband on. That one's got a little bob hat. 
and I think it's holding a bottle. That one's got ear muffs and a scarf on. That one's just got a bow around its neck. That one's got its back to us and it's got a scarf on. Oh, it's got his arm round another one that's got a bob hat on. That one's holding a hat. And then I think they're the same again. And buttons all the way down the back. So I'm going to put that on her. My it's on the short sleeves. I'm going to put this on. This was a vintage buy as well. Nice pretty pink cardigan. Because I love pink and grey together. I like grey and lemon as well. So this can go for Jay's tag. Man, you're supposed to dress can, can't you? Even if it's pre-loved if you've not used it before that can go for jay's tag as well so that's jay's dolls uk hashtag new baby clothes so she's gonna have that pretty little cardigan on that's got an embroidery anglais frill all the way around across the shoulders and the back and it's got little holes knitted in it and it's lovely and soft so she's gonna have the dress the cardigan um I don't know whether to put them socks on for a change or some frilly tights. No, I think we'll wait till it comes a bit warmer for put them on. Is that a piece of plastic? I don't know. You find these bits of plastic in everything. Right, no, I'm not putting them on. I'm going to put these little frilly bum tights on. And... A little pair of pink shoes. I mean, they're not all the same pink, but they'll be okay. They'll be okay, little girl, won't they? So you want your tarts first, don't you? Oh, dear. Come on, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm still not sleeping. Oh, Paul sent for me a spray off. It was either Amazon or eBay. I, th I think I might have told you because Jay from Jay's Doll said try magnesium. It helps her at sleep. And before I got the tablets, Paul sent for me this spray. I will cast sent us a picture. So anyway, he sent for this spray and it's got lavender in and I can't stand the smell of lavender. It makes me feel sick and gives me a dick. So anyway, not... I tried it last night. I didn't try it the night before. Well, the night before that I tried it and it was okay. Stunk. I only put it on my legs and my tummy. I didn't put it on my arms and my chest because I thought I'll never get sleep. So that was okay. And I did have a reasonable sleep. And I'd had my magnesium tablets as well. Then the night after, I didn't bother. I just had my magnesium tablets. Then last night, I went to bed. And then um, I turned my light off at one o'clock, got sleep. Uh, three o'clock, I'm only having two hours then I'm awake. Three o'clock, I woke up, went to the toilet and I couldn't get back to sleep. And my legs was burning like mad, burning and tingling. So I sat up the toilet with a baby wipe, wiping all my legs, getting it off. I was telling Paul this morning, I said, I don't think I'll be using that again. Oh, it was awful. And then I was awake from three o'clock till five o'clock on my phone. Caught up on a few videos. So it was five o'clock again when I went to sleep. And Paul brought me a cup of tea at ten. Because he was going physio. So I've not had much sleep again. Meeting a bit better, which I'm not pleased about really. Only lost three quarters of a pound this week. Man, we had a few cakes last week. I think Paul's trying to cheer me up part time. So his sister's just rang before he went picking Keen up. It's the 75th this year, 17th of March, and they're going for a Chinese. So she wanted, no, did we want to go? So I said, yeah, we'll go. I'm not saying I'll eat much like. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Put your cardigan on, chick, while you're that way. 
Now she gotta just give it a little brush. Not that it needs it. She's got gorgeous hair. Oh, for my new ones, you probably know this sculpt. This is the Lulu kit by Joanna Casmira Czech or whatever her name is. I don't usually try and entertain saying that. I usually just say jo Joanna K. Um, and she's been the longest in my nursery. Well, I had one before her, but I sold her. Um, so she's been here since 6th of April 2020. She's 19 inches in length and she weighs six pounds, four ounces. And she was reborn by Annie's Serenity Babies. But I don't think she goes under that name now. I think it's something like Summer and Soul or something. You just get a nice box opening off her. I don't think I'm getting one with my new baby. Not that I need any claws, really, do I? I don't think she comes with a, a box opening. We're going picking her up, have I told you? Because you know I told you I thought she had a dint in her chest. Well, I had another look and I thought I'd seen one on her lip. So I emailed this lady and um, she never got back to me and I thought, oh, hey, up. Don't tell me she's got to start playing silly buggers now. Anyway, she did e email me back and she apologised. She said she's sorry she didn't get back to me straight away, but her husband had a fall outside. So she said she's had another look at her. She's been over her and there is no dints. She said um, silicon doesn't enlarge uh, nicely, you know, because you enlarge it on your phone. So she said you've paid half. She said, if you want, she said, you're welcome to come and have a look at her uh, before you pay the rest. So she only lives about three quarters of an hour away. So we're going picking her up. So it might just be a blanket reveal when she does come. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Because I've seen her do a box opening. Well, box a baby up and she puts them in two boxes. So I don't know what I'll get. But I'd sooner do that and check her. You know what I mean? Make sure I'm happy with her. And it was good of her if it said that, really, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? She's all right, I think. I think she's all right. And when I tell you she is, you'll probably know. You'll probably... Well, the old people, not old in age, but the old Dolly community, they'll probably have heard of her. I don't know about the... The, you know, the new ones. I've heard of her. I didn't know it was her. And uh, I've seen some of her babies, oh, wait, years ago, uh, under the name that she used to go under. And I thought, oh, they're nice babies. But that was before I wanted a silicon baby. Anyway, look how pretty she looks. All in grey and pink. So pretty. She really does suit pink. But I think any baby with dark hair suits pink. I think her hair's getting ready for a wash. I'm frightened. I'm frightened of washing the hair, I really am. Not in case it falls out or anything, but what happens if it don't go back its same style and her bugger it up? Can't even do my own hair, no matter dolls her. So anyway, that said, I'm only doing one baby today. And um, she can go for... My friend Dee's tag, I always forget poor Dee, it's a shame, over at um, the baby patch. Her uh, um, tag is anything goes Monday. You can do anything you want on a Monday. You can put a polar bear in a tutu or a swimsuit or, you know, I don't know. Just come on and chat, I suppose, if you want. If you've not got any babies, I don't know. I know you can do anything you want. I can't get over that. £22 for a pair of socks, yeah. Not in my life, mate. I mean, I didn't mind paying what I paid for them because they are nice and they're quite thick. You know, for baby socks. Very pretty. I don't think I've seen a pair like that. So, but I definitely won't pay 22 quid. My legs are freezing. I might put Putin on my pals, not in. 
but then my body starts going. I mean, it's my legs. I mean, when I was a, at school, when I was a child, every winter I used to get chill blains on my legs. You know, walking home from school. Gosh, we never had a car or anything in them days. Used to have to walk it there and walk it back. In fact, one day I'd been home for my dinner. I used to go home for my dinner, walk home, walk back. And when I was going back to school, the heavens absolutely opened. It was like parting of the skies. It chucked it down. And I was dripping wet when I got back to school. And I actually got told off. Told off. I was I, I carried on going because I didn't want to be late. And I got told off. Why did you shelter? I said, I didn't want to be late. I had to go at lost property and find some clothes. Went mad. You know, brain girl. I went, <laughs> you know, you didn't answer back in them days. Not like to get away with it these days. Your teacher or your elders was what they said, you know, was right. And that's what you did. Now they just bloody answer you back, don't they? And give you 50 words to one. Our cast came yesterday with dogs, all four of them. He was walking past and they know where, where I live a little better. Honest, she's this big. She's this big and she loves me. And they walked past, said, we got past the gate. She said, we don't, wasn't intending coming, you know, because they had four dogs with them. She said, we got past the gate and we got to next door, but one, she just sat down, she won't go. She said, we had to come back and bring her in. So anyway, they sat for a while, her and Ian and dogs. And I said, how's my granddaughter anyway? She went, <sighs> and I went, what's she done? What's she been doing? She said, well, put it this way, we have mahogany windows. See the window there? Let's lift you up a bit. See the colour on the window there? She said, well, put it this way, Mum. She's that colour. I went, you what? I said, what's she doing? She said, I don't know. I said, is she going out with her mates and stuff on a night? She said, no. She said, she would do if her mates from college lived close, but they don't. I said, so she's doing all that? Just for it got college. She said she's wearing false eyelashes that sticks out six miles. False nails. And I went, what, what's up with her? She said, Mum, I don't know. And uh, <laughs> Ian said, I seen her in the kitchen the other night. She, he said, she, she looked like a blackie. He said, I couldn't see her eyes. I went, oh, I'm going to have to have a word. She said, I've told her not to go on anymore. I went, all right. I said, well, Dad, why is she going then? She said, well, I don't know she's going. She said, she says, I'm going round my dad's. And then she goes out to bed. I said, well, she must be putting something on for it get that colour. Because even when she's been abroad with our cast, she never comes back that that colour. You know, dead brown like that. She said, honest to God, Mum, she's a sight. She's a sight. And she's flipping gorgeous. I'm not saying that just because she's my granddaughter, but she's stunning. So I don't know what's going on with her. Oh, because I said, I keep telling her, don't go on anymore. So, I don't know. So, that's another chapter. So, I was made up for seeing him yesterday. And then, when they was going, she, uh, Paul picked little Betty up. And uh, Yasmin was sat on my knee. And she was at it, come on, Yasmin, we're going now. And she just sat there. I went, you're not going, Yasmin. He's staying here with you now. Come on, Yasmin, he's coming home. <laughs> she had to come and pick her up. She won't go. Oh, dogs like coming here because they know they get treats. Anyway, I've done enough parroting. I'll get this done in case Kian comes. Apparently, um, when Paul went with John yesterday to the caravan, he said to John, Kian's not wanted to go swimming last few weeks. He said, yeah, it's because Chris has been ill. He's worrying about her. He said he likes coming, make sure she's all right. I went, oh, bless him. And um, Sarah like his mum, her dad was in hospital from Boxing Day, I think, last year, and he was in for ages. He's got cancer, some kind of cancer, and he had to wear an halo type thing, you know, like a metal frame round his neck, because all his vertebrae uh, was crumbling. Anyway, he's learned how to walk and everything again. He had to learn how to feed himself and walk and everything. And apparently he's collapsed again at weekend. He's back in hospital. So uh, John was saying to Paul yesterday, he lit a candle the other night for Derek. And I went, oh, God bless him. Honest to God, it can be a little angel, but on the other hand, it can be a little demon. But can't all kids, really. I think they're all the same, aren't they? Give them an inch and they take a mile. Anyway, 
pat it, pat it. I'm going now. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Where am I going tomorrow? Here in department. Quarter past three, I think. Yeah, so I'll see. I'll try my best anyway. Oh, she looks gorgeous, doesn't she? Yeah, her hair's definitely going a bit greasy, isn't it? I like smell of that stuff. It smells like coconuts. Coconuts, 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 nuts, nuts. Right, look after yourselves and your precious loved ones and keep smiling. And I'll try my best for tomorrow. Okay then, bye-bye everyone. I love you all. Thank you very much for spending a little bit of your day with me again. And thank you for all your lovely comments. I really appreciate them all. Bye-bye everyone. Bye-bye.